Trudy says, I'm wondering how to begin to, dis to discover refugees in my small town. Yeah, um, for us, it was the internet. Uh, the internet's an amazing thing. And it's an amazing thing when used for kingdom purposes, not for looking at <laughs> um, But I will say, um, I would find the closest resettlement agency, even if they're not in your city, and give them a call and see what resources they have on different people groups living around your area. Um, even if you're not in Nashville or in Atlanta, but you're close to it. Um, and I'm sure that, that they would have some type of understanding of who might be around you. I agree with the, the idea of using the internet. And there's also just your, your eyes as you drive and walk around neighborhoods. There are a lot of indicators of immigrant presence so speaking more broadly than just refugees, it's a little easier to spot the people who are recent arrivals than it is to characterize them as refugees or immigrants or what what capacity. But an additional resource when, like especially for churches and for uh, parachurch ministries, can be looking at a neighborhood level. So schools are really good sources of information about the diversity in the classrooms. And the immigrant population tends to be somewhat younger than the American population as a whole. That means there are more immigrant kids in our classrooms than they represent percentage-wise. So they're a first kind of indicator of where we're going to discover the families that go with the kids. Uh, so here in California and in some other states, we have what are called school accountability report cards. So I can go to the elementary school that's six doors down from my house, I can look at their, their SARC, their school accountability report card, and they will tell me what languages that students are speaking in their homes. They will tell me how many of the, that particular school are English learners or English language learners. It varies by state, how they call them. And that's an indication of the diversity that's present among the students. If the students are here, probably the parents, brothers and sisters, grandparents, aunts and uncles, there's a whole community that follows this initial trace of where we can spot the people in our communities. Mm -hmm.